Yeah, I, I, I think the story of this week, the, the thing that really dominated the news this week, uh, as it has for over a week now, are the, uh, <clears throat> are we, are the um, uh, campus demonstrations. Uh, the campus demonstrations only intensified as the Columbia students seemed to be getting away with what they were getting away with. You remember they were first, uh, the police tried to clear them. Uh, they returned, and, and they only returned with even more vigor. And uh, the administration backed down, and then negotiated, and negotiated, and negotiated. And as a consequence of Columbia students returning, students in all other campuses, and many, many other campuses, also joined in from the University of Texas, UCLA, and uh, really uh, Northeastern and uh, Northwestern, sorry, all over the country, as far as I can tell, you had uh, demonstrations, students, sit-ins, students uh, camping out. Um, and uh, many of them, not all of them, but many of them disrupting, uh, disrupting the actual uh, education, um, uh, education that was going on. And... Um, uh, it was uh, disrupting education, disrupting the ability of students to move about campus, uh, disrupting the ability of professors to actually teach, uh, to actually teach classes. Columbia, if you remember, went online only as a consequence of the encampment, as a consequence of the demonstrations. Uh, these demonstrations clearly violated many of the university's own rules of conduct uh, and to, in, a, in a large number of them, there was real harassment of other students. Again, harassment that would not be tolerated if they're being, the ones being harassed happen to be black or Hispanic or women or, or gays or trans or whatever. But because the harassed were Jews, you know, no big deal. There's no, uh, there's no protection uh, for them uh, in, uh, in, uh, in our system. So uh, anyway, these... Um, uh, these uh, encampments increased in Columbia. At some point, the demonstrators actually occupied one of the buildings at Columbia, and they barricaded themselves inside. This is after negotiations. Negotiations. I mean, what is the negotiate exactly? But negotiations with the administration uh, failed uh, to resolve the issue. Whatever the issue is, I guess the, 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 what the students are demanding is that the university divest every uh, everything from Israel. Uh, which was not going to happen, uh, and uh, condemn, officially condemn the uh, Israel for what's going on in Gaza, and uh, and and uh, advocate for, uh, I guess, a river to the sea and a and a Palestinian state, and I guess advocate for and become a party to the genocide of Jews in um, in Israel. Uh, the university was not going to agree to that, so it was never going to be any kind of compromise. Anyway. The, the result was that once they occupied the building, the, the New York police were called in and uh, they basically, uh, what is it, dismantled the encampment, got the kids out of the building. Uh, they did so in what appears to be, uh, in, in what I've heard is, was an incredibly professional way. They did it with, uh, they did it uh, without any, uh, I wouldn't say kid gloves, but they did it in, uh, in a way, uh, you know, they arrested hundreds. Uh, but I, I don't think there were many injuries or, or, or issues like that. If you remember, the uh, 68 sit-in on Columbia uh, resulted in, in significant people being a significant number of people being injured, and and and, uh, and, it, and that resulted in a huge backlash, which resulted in many sittings sit-ins around the country. This seemed to indicate that the Columbia, uh, Columbia going in and 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 pushing people and, and getting people out seemed to give a green light to police forces all over the country to do uh, the same thing. And many of the encampments have been dismantled. 2,000 people, 2,000 people from New York to Los Angeles have been arrested. Uh, the police have engaged in, in really massive shows of force, uh, which include flashbang devices to disperse protesters. Um, and it really looks like the universities and the police uh, are now uh, serious, and um, uh, are now uh, are now serious, and now um, uh, going to uh, take you know take matters and to take matters uh, seriously, and and not allow for this to uh, to continue and uh, and uh, to get uh, to get worse. So um, yeah, we will uh, you know we will see how this uh, we will see 
uh, how this uh, develops. I mean, one of the big differences, and I think I mentioned this between these demonstrations and the demonstrations in 1968, and one of the things that will probably suggest that, uh, that the police and others, uh, the police and administrations can take a tougher hand with these protesters than even was taken in 1968 uh, is... Um, it, you know, is is part of this is the the this uh, the fact that I think most Americans might know this Israeli-Palestinian thing going on. They might even have a broad opinion about it. They might be pro-Israel or pro-Palestinian, or, 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 or but most of them, it's not particularly an important issue for them. It's pretty vague. It's outside of the country. It's outside of their specific you know, a specific, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, context. It doesn't affect their day-to-day -day lives. It doesn't affect what they do or don't do. And uh, the reality is that, you know, people are, um, that people just don't care about this issue enough to get unbelievably, unbelievably, uh, you know, uh, uh, upset by, uh, by all of this. And... Um, So I think the American people have very little tolerance uh, for what is going on uh, by these demonstrators uh, on these campuses. They, they don't understand the issues and they don't care that much about them. Versus the 60s, where a lot of the demonstrations were motivated by Vietnam, which Americans rejected kind of the nihilism expressed by the students. But, even, but on the other hand, there was at least an issue there that they could relate to that was important to them that had real relevance to their life. Right. So the, um, the idea that American people are going to rally around this, that this is going to have any real impact, other than to have an impact on democratic politics, uh, it, it, where it could, and, and as a result, it, it could lose Biden in the election, or could... Uh, you know, if he tilts more to the left, could win him in the election. There's no, there's no more than that that could happen, and it's not going to survive. It's not going to survive. So uh, what you have here is uh, something that where the, I think that the American people are going to side with the police. These students are, are not representative of any real movement in the United States. Uh, it, it, to, it, that, that supports their cause, uh, it, you know, other than, again, the very, very radical far left. Uh, I think a lot of people were pissed off at the Vietnam War at the time. Almost nobody cares that much about Israel one way or the other right now. And, and one of the things that this does, and I think this supports Trump, and I think uh, will, will strengthen Trump going into the election, is that this is one more way in which the nihilistic left has exposed itself and, uh, you know, can now say, and uh, Trump uh, or Republicans can now say, see, this is what you're fighting against. See, right, this is, this is, uh, this is the, you know, this is, uh, this is the issue uh, with voting for the left. The left is nihilistic. Look at what they're doing on campuses. Look at all the other views. These are nutcases. Do you really want these in power for another four years? So this plays right into the Republican hands. It plays right into Trump's hands. And indeed, if, if you, um, if they come out in strength during the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, which they have threatened to do, uh, that could be the death nail of, you know, the Democratic Party will suffer dramatically because of that, just like it suffered in 1968 when uh, the nihilistic left came out then. If the nihilistic left comes out now, I, I, I think that will increase the odds that Donald Trump becomes an ex-president uh, dramatically. I mean, really uh, dramatically.